Everybody, it's Invictus. Time for kind of a wacky Wednesday continuation from last week's episode with the Forgotten One. Yes, indeed, we are going to be playing as the Tainted Forgotten just because we did ask the last week's question of the episode, which was, who do you prefer, Tainted or Regular Forgotten? And I'll get to those replies in a moment, but first I want to say thank you all very much for the support this week. We've been doing really, really well on the comments as well as the likes, so keep it going and we'll get that like streak counter back up there no problem tomorrow. I almost, I, I'm sure of it. It's going to happen. Here's your your artwork of the day is sent in here by Jens Eric Anderson. The title of the thread was Sin 800, and obviously a uh, take on the Terminator. And I absolutely love this mashup. It's the mashup I never knew I needed, but I love how this worked out, especially with the crayons and everything. Just it, Everything about it is just really, really cool. It reminds me of something that I would have done back in the day, except like nowhere near as cool looking. So I've never... I, I, I want to see a full like high-definition like realization of that mashup there with the T-800 and the, and the Synvicta logo. Thank you very much, Jens. Or it might be Jens, uh, Eric Anderson. And everyone who uploaded that one. Let's start off with a tainted, forgotten run. We'll talk about him in a moment. But first, your seed of the day is going to be Mike uh, Romeo November Zulu 2880. All righty. Tainted, forgotten. So, obviously, again, last week we played the regular forgotten, and now we're playing as the tainted, forgotten. Obviously, the biggest difference here is going to be the fact that we don't actually directly control the forgotten, whereas we actually control the soul. And the Forgotten is almost like a remote, he's almost like a remote um, extension of the soul here. Um, see here we can throw or yeet the, yeet the uh, Forgotten body and then we can actually deal remote damage with the bone, which is nice. But the the main attack here and the biggest, I'd say, advantage of the Tainted Forgotten is the fact that you can, you can literally throw his body. Um, and this becomes extremely, extremely valuable whenever you've got something that allows you to deal contact damage, like, say, the virus or, uh, you know, Serpent's Kiss or anything like that, or even having a, an orbital is, is very, very strong. Um, damage scaling is out of control, obviously, just the same way with a, with a regular Forgotten. Tainted Forgotten also scales extremely well uh, with damage. I don't know if the damage actually affects the amount of contact damage that he can deal uh, whenever you're making contact with enemies, but... It does affect the the power of the bone, uh, and uh, obviously with the, reg the way that the regular Forgotten goes, the bone scale is extremely, extremely high. Well, I'm just going to do this room again, huh? So, you do have to be careful. <coughs> Excuse me, I don't know what we're supposed to do here. Get rid of that. I guess we get. I guess we just get rid of that fire. Um, another nice little, little um, <coughs> advantage of the Tainted Forgotten is the fact that you can get into and out of curse rooms for totally free. Uh, which is very nice. You can simply just throw the forgotten bones through it, and uh, not be charged for any of the uh, any of the. Wow, we got a golden key and a golden bomb. This this would have been great for bag crafting. And look at this, we get a ton, absolute ton of HP here, along with magic skin, which I'm not going to be taking, but good to know that it's there. And of course, you can also use the forgotten body to actually grab. Uh, pickups and uh, other and access other other places that were usually inaccessible um, but obviously with the soul you still have flying so you're going to be able to access it anyway <laughs> I do like the I do like the animation of us picking up the swallowed penny and then throwing the forgotten body as we were doing that so you saw me there pick up the, that coin uh, despite us not having uh, I don't know where the heck the secret room is you know what I don't really care at this point I may notice here that notice how I did place the bomb, uh, but it did not appear where the soul is. It appears where the forgotten's body is. So that's something to be very, very cautious of. As uh, anything that you do, like anything that you activate, is going to be activated on the forgotten's body, not on the soul. So just keep that in mind. And uh, yeah, we'll just head on down. Good start. And curse the blind. The last week's question of the episode, as we already talked about and alluded to at the beginning of this episode here, which was, what? who do you prefer, the tainted or regular forgotten? Uh, the most upvoted comment came in from, uh, I'm going to say, uh, Danilo Taza, Danilo Taza, or Taza, who simply just said regular. And that surprised me because I thought a lot of people, eh, metronome's kind of whatever. And we got mini mush. Um... I honestly thought a lot of people would prefer the Tainted Forgotten, but the most upvoted comment came in for the regular Forgotten, so I don't know if that stems from just people like legitimately feeling that way, or if it might 
it might just be because like some people just don't like having to do the unlocks for the tainted characters which hey i'm i'm right there with you brother right there with you sister i i know i know the pain of that one um but yeah that surprised me that was that that was the most upvoted comment uh was for the regular forgotten now i will admit that i think that the tainted forgotten is my choice in that in that matter but you know i i also i'm also not a huge fan of the forgotten just the the forgotten play style is kind of man to me um, but yeah, so thank you very much to Danilo or Danilo Taza. Uh, second most upvoted comment came in with eggs from eggs with legs 54, who said whacking things with regular forgotten's bone is my one of my favorite pastime, and uh, that might also be the case. I mean, you can do that with tainted forgotten. It's just like obviously, you know, you're going to be relegated to wherever the body is. So there we go, and I will take the pentagram, which is going to give us a massive damage up. And oh, would you look at that? We actually got, we actually got the, the uh, empty vessel in here via the metronome, which gave us enough HP to actually take both of these, which is wild. Mr. Maggie and Sacrificial Altar, which we're immediately going to use and get Book of Belial. Honestly, I mean, hey, metronome kind of did us a solid there, so I'm going to stick with metronome. And last but not least, the third most upvoted comment came in from uh, Laik Mena, Laik Mina, 50, 45, uh, 17, uh, who simply said, Regular Forgotten is the most unique character before Repentance. Standard Forgotten doesn't hold up a candle to his uniqueness. And yeah, I mean, I'm I'm not going to debate that. I mean, like, it is true. Like, we've never seen a melee-based Isaac character before the Forgotten existed, and that was that was certainly what made him awesome. Um, in some people's minds, not mine, because again, I wasn't a huge fan of his play style, um, but he is strong. So I can definitely see where people would think that, uh, or, or just, you know, just, just feel that way. Um, but if we're talking about now, like if we're not, if we're not talking about in retrospect and just talking about like, you know, pound for pound, you got to pick one or the other. Like I'm still, in my opinion, I'm still taking Tainted Forgotten. Like being able to fly is, is just so, so strong with the soul. You can attack. Uh, with Tainted Forgotten, obviously, and it just does, he, he just does work, just right out of the gate. Okay, I mean, hypercoagulation is kind of, again, just kind of a big nothing burger of an item. Uh, Seeker Room, yeah. Okay. Well, well, how you doing? Don't mind if I do. We have ourselves an R key, huh? Might be the first time I've ever gotten an R key on the Tainted Forgotten. This brings up a lot of a lot of interesting scenarios that we could go through. Uh, definitely want mom's key if we can actually swing it. No pun intended there. We got ourselves an R key. Now, if we could somehow manage to get um, an additional two cents before opening up any chests, that would be ideal because we can get mom's key and then essentially have it pay for itself very very quickly what you're seeing here is kind of the ridiculousness of tainted forgotten i mean like tainted forgotten is not perfect like he's certainly not my favorite painted character but he's definitely not one of my least favorite uh that that, that goes to tainted jacob as everyone knows you're kind of seeing the silliness here brought on to you by uh, tainted forgotten with the with, with you know his inability to actually fire as the soul you're you're left to dealt with like you know close range targets in a unorthodox way unorthodox means um so let's go fight fistula here so when are we going to use the r key well i don't know yet we we've got very good damage thanks to the pentagram um i wasn't planning on seeing the uh seeing r key obviously so it may be strategical it may not i don't know if an omega run is is likely today, but we'll we'll see. Perfection's not bad, especially with us being as the Tainted Forgotten. I am going to pick up Blood Clot. And yeah, none of these really matter. So yeah, we'll still get Perfection for now. And another Curse of the Blind.
So two curse of the blinds now game. Want to uh, just want to point that out. I mean, you keep you keep this up, and I will I will use the R key sooner rather than later. Um, Kane's other eye or Kane's eye has a twenty five percent chance to show us the entire map, which it normally doesn't. But you know, occasionally you do get the full map effect, which is which is nice. It's a nice little surprise. You never expect to pass a twenty five percent chance in in Isaac. And of course, all of us are guilty of of confirmation bias here when it comes to Isaac. Oh, you know, well, Zvicta never, never proclaims to be surprised when he passes 36%, but he always complains when he misses 73%. It's like, no, bro, that's not, that's not how it works. Like it works. Be the reason why you're, you're more upset about missing a 73% chance than passing a 36% chance is because you're not expecting to pass a 36% chance. 73% chance you are absolutely expecting to at least pass it every now and then. That's what, see, that's, that's the, the negative confirmation bias there. Um, so whenever we, if we do pass a 25%, it's like, oh, hey, look at that. We passed 25%. Not like, a, oh man, pff, we didn't get a 25%. Like, come on. What is this? What was, what kind of amateur hour is this sort of thing? Definitely do need some HP. Now, one thing that Tainted for Forgotten does not have access to are red hearts. Um, so much like, you know, much like Blue Baby or Tainted Blue Baby or whatever, you can only operate off of soul hearts and demon hearts. Not even bone hearts help. Um, unlike the regular Forgotten, obviously, which has a split HP uh, pool. Oh, thank you very much. I was not expecting that, but thank you. If it wasn't Wacky Wednesday, I'd say no, but since it's Wacky Wednesday, it's going to be raw liver, which is greatly, 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 greatly diminished because it's obviously... Obviously, Tainted Forgotten here, so, okay. Gonna get a whole bunch of HP out of nowhere. You see me kind of traverse through the rooms here. It's a very fast way. Uh-oh. It's a very fast way to get through rooms without having to, uh, to run. God, it's so, it's so lame. Uh, Ecor Mycosis. I mean, I had a golden bomb. I guess I should have bombed that spike rock there instead of like trying to finesse it. But it it is a little lame, unfortunately, being able to if you throw yourself on top of a spike rock. Like, imagine if we didn't have the golden bomb there. <coughs> Not that I used it anyway. Get another devil deal here. Get mom's coin purse and a Krampus fight. Ecor Mycos is kind of doing some work there on Krampus. More concerned about the fire shooting me in the back than Krampus, because again, our movement speed is really not good. And uh, we're not, we're not, we're not gonna take pills. Let's just head on down. Going another curse of blind. All right. You're really pushing me here, game. Because there's a big part of me that wants to just hit the, like, R key right now. Because this is three curse of blinds now. Three. In five floors. Kind of ridiculous. Nice little two combo there. Man, look, I'm trying to make it, trying to make it fun and interesting game, but you know, you keep giving me the curse of blinds, and we're gonna, it's not gonna be fun and interesting anymore because I will rip this Arky. I mean, I know I've I've taken every single blind item, which is obviously a very big oddity for me, but you know, we're just we're trying to have fun here. I'm trying to I'm trying to make it somewhat comparable to the last week's run. I'll go fight Lamb, see how we're doing. Ace of Diamonds, go back into the big room here. Ace of Diamond. 
Ace of Diamonds is going to destroy everything in the room and turn them into pennies. Because, of course, there's no enemies. There we go, get a soul heart there. You're seeing the chunkage here thanks to Pentagram. Oh, wow. Here fun card as well. I'll definitely take that. Money here as well. Still looking for the item room. I mean, I'm going to take the blind item, but like, I'm not happy about it. Until it backfires, then I will be unhappy about it. But that's also kind of the crux of Isaac, too, is like you have the choice to not take blind items. Um, and I don't recommend taking blind items unless you absolutely have to. Especially, especially don't take blind items if you've got a blind item in the secret room like we did on this run. But I know that that would have like... Oh, actually, it probably would have been pretty good for engagement. I'm not going to lie. I have a bunch of people getting mad that I, I passed up on... Uh, the blind secret room item does wonders for engagement. So looking for the uh, item room here. We continue to throw our way through the level. Because this is a good spot for. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Excellent spot. I would have loved to have gotten the other egglet over here, but it just didn't work out. Anti-grav. Again, anti-gravity is just a big nothing burger of an item. Um, although it does give us a tears up, which is fine. I mean, I guess it does kind of. Oh, that's that's just super great. The best part is I wasn't even trying to really buy that. Um, but uh, I forgot what I was going to say now. Get the pockets. Honestly, I just really wanted some soul hearts there, game. So what I'm thinking of doing here is... We may look at using the R key for our get out of boss rush clause. Anti-grab, I don't think I've ever seen anti-grab with the uh, hand of forgotten. The blue cap, which is gonna give us another tears up, which affects how fast we can swing in the swing the bone. Um We may end up ripping the Arky here just to get out of boss rush. We'll see. We'll, we'll see what we get out of this this floor. This this floor will determine whether or not we end up using the Arky strategically or going for something crazy. That's crazy to me that the swing stays in the air, but doesn't seem to deal with damage. Unless if it's a multi-hit thing where the game is already detecting that you hit the same target. So it's not going to it's not gonna let you double up on the on the damage. Oh yeah. Oh wow, we got telepills anyway. Yeah, I def I definitely saw the swing cause damage to that dark matter ball. But that wasn't the same. That wasn't the case for like. That wasn't the case for the other target there, the the trite. So, I don't know. I think it's the line that arc that the bone does. I think it doesn't deal damage until you release the key. I think. Again, I've never had this combo before, so this is kind of. A little, bit, a little bit wacky, wild, crazy. You know, just kind of, kind of speeding things up here. Try to get to boss rush. 
Now, if you're wondering how come we can see this telepills here, it is because we knew that that's a full car. That's a that's a targeted, that's a targeted, um, non-random item in the tinted skull for this level particularly. So I think because we have mom's we had mom's coin purse, the game already pre-identified that as a full card. But since it turned into a pill, it will it will identify that pill instead. Since it, again, it's a static spawn. It's, it's, it, just for this level alone is well. That's technically not true. All all tinted skulls are are full cards. So I think that's the reason why we can see this as being a telepills. Yes, this fight is very annoying with the Tainted Forgotten. One of the few fights he's really not all that great at. I mean, he gives us another Tears Up. I don't think we... It's not really worth doing it for an entire Soul Heart. One whole entire soul heart. We're still looking for the item room. And we're still looking for the item room and also the store. And the fact that we haven't seen them yet means that they are definitely adjacent to one another. Boy, if I had a quarter every time I said that. I'm sitting here looking at the swing arc here from Tainted Forgotten. Yeah, it definitely, it definitely seems like they only deal damage, that little crescent swing. It only deals damage whenever I let go of Fire Key. Which, to be fair, I mean, that's exactly how anti-grab works with, like, regular tiers, you know? I mean, Superman's going to be a nice all-stats up. It's weird that it's just randomly sitting there. Depression again. So notice how depression will follow the forgotten, but not the soul. Um, car battery does not matter for this. Yeah, I guess we can take it, but I'd honestly rather get like, yeah, get the compass or something. Okay. Um. Could rip the R key now. I don't know how Lamb is going to go. Like, we we should be okay, but I don't know. Let's see. Let's, let's, let's let it roll for now. Obviously, with the compass, we know where we're supposed to be going. There we go. Get some good swings there. It is very satisfying to kill Globins. That's Tainted Forgotten, I will say. All them sort of conga lining into the into you. We are going to get an orbital here from death, which is honestly kind of fine with me. Um, again, it gives a little bit more. It gives a little bit more utility to the to the Forgotten himself. And he's already got a lot of utility, obviously, with the with a you know the the almost contact damage that he deals with the uh, bone. Except this time around, obviously, you know we have actual contact damage with the orbital. It also provides us with a little bit of extra defense as well. Still alive. There we go. Again, there's no excuse not to go into a curse room as Tainted Forgotten. Literally free. Unless you're lazy and you, like, you know, just don't want to go there. Flatworm, I don't think, does anything for the swing size of Tainted Forgotten. 
Look at that, Vcore Mycosis is going ham here. Yeah, so I just, I was just watching that shot on Monstro, and I definitely let go of the fire button while it was still stuck on Monstro, and it didn't deal damage. So I think it's a combination of the dead swing damage. Like, you can't, you can't gain a second hit on a, on a, the same target. There's a little bit of a timeout on top, on, in terms of, like, the amount of damage that you can deal to some, to one singular target. Um, and also the fact that you have to let go of the button uh, in order to deal damage with your swing. Again, in the specific instance of us having uh, anti-grav. My god. My god! Two pin. I had more bombs, I would definitely go back and get that soul heart. Mucor Mycosis is really helping out. So right there, if you looked at, if you go back and watch that, that part that just happened with uh, with Envy here, um, you'll notice that the Envy chunks that were spawning were actually getting hit by the Crescents, despite me not, despite me not letting go of the uh, fire button. So it de that even more so supports the theory that you can't have the double the double hit on the same target thing within a certain amount of time, but you can hit with the crescents if something has not been hit previously by it so there we go perfect positioning there on forgotten makes this fight a total joke get one more double deal for the road and it's i mean headless baby's okay headless baby's okay with it um But it, it, it's not it's not use three soul hearts good. First the unknown's fine. We know we got plenty of HP. It says it's get hit hit not once, but almost twice. You have to be careful about traversing through the rooms like that, particularly if you have low keys, because obviously if I had thrown myself into that lock, it would have taken away one of our keys. This would be uh, this would constitute a room where I'm using I'm willing to use one of our very scarce bombs. So you're seeing where having uh, having uh, headless baby would be helpful. Again, it's kind of indirect contact damage, if that makes sense. As dumb as that sounds, secondary or indirect contact damage, I would consider to be kind of a thing in Isaac. Like, we're not dealing contact damage in the sense that we're making damage because we're touching something, but we have a, a, a aura of creep around us that is in contact damage range. Does that make sense? So in a way, Headless Baby and, and to a lesser extent, Depression are, is kind of doing that. I think the demon's gone. Okay. We still want to drop a bomb here and then try to get the forgotten relegated somewhere in the middle of the room. He's a little bit too far north right now. Because the thing is that we're trying to make forgotten, we're, we're trying to make Fallen and Stanley go after the forgotten, not the soul. There we go. You got to just press up against him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, now this is where the tricky part kind of comes in here with Tainted Forgotten. Especially when you don't have really good movement speed. Look at that. The creep dealing damage here with Depression. Here we go. Yeah, that was a pretty clean fight. Surprisingly easier than what I was what I was truly expecting there. Another Curse of Darkness, but that's fine. 
get Dark Prince's Crown, Azazel's Rage, uh, Dark Matter, and Blood Oath. Again, you want to try to goad the enemies to come out right next to the Forgotten without actually hitting the soul, obviously. <coughs> now, that one was the direct result of us having all of bandages hit the, uh, the bomb lamprey. That was a pretty, pretty amazing little iframe there you had, adversary. The pretty neat little trick you did there. The golden canter trink, which gave us a huge tears up. So again, the higher the tears rate, the faster you can swing the bone. And uh, you're still always going to be reliant on the throw, but a little less so if you have a tears rate high enough to where you can just sort of spam. Fear shot, you are ruining me right now. Okay, I'm not happy with the amount of damage we've been taking in this level. Again, it doesn't help that our movement speed is so crappy. But we have been taking... Well, we've been getting a lot of ridiculous rooms. And this is the downside of the Tainted Forgotten, is that, again, having to retrieve the body instead of having, like, the birthright version, which is just, you can just, re you can just basically recall him um, and without having to go chase after him, which is real nice. All right, got a lucky penny here. This is going to be a little bit, a little bit tricky. Again, all you can really do is just try to goad the lamb and other bosses it's just sticking right next to the Forgotten. Look at that. Look at that. Ball of bandages and Forgotten absolutely wasting the lamb. Yeah, we do a victory lap. We still have the R key, by the way. That was just chef's kiss. Uh, Foxtrot, Quebec... X-Ray, November, Romeo, Quebec, Romeo, Tango. All right, so we've got ourselves a victory lap here and an R key. So the timer is reset. Now, ideally, we would get two boss rushes if we can with the R key. Um, if we're not going to go for an Omega run, which, I mean, I don't know if this is Omega run worthy. We don't have a lot of damage here. It, uh, no. Give me some movement speed. Give me a little bit of a little bit of movement speed, love, and I'll we'll talk about it. Soul heart there from the shop, which is going to be ideal for us. There goes Pink Widow. Okay, so we're going to stick with the golden golden cancer trinket. Obviously, we want it, we want to have this tears up. <coughs> Another floor two curse of blind. I feel like there's like way more spiders in this room than there usually is. Well, I played your little game, the first run game. I'm not going to do it this time. Sun's Habit with Nightlight. Nightlight's actually not terrible on uh, Tainted Forgotten just because you don't have to worry about it changing directions and slowing down projectiles from multiple directions. It can only just be one way. So it's kind of okay. Super bandage. And we also get Guppy's eye. Okay. Again, I'm gonna skip the I'm gonna skip the item room. I didn't go to the curse room. I know I just got done talking about how like there's no excuse. Oh, oh. There's no excuse for us having or not going into the curse room. And this is what we would have missed out had I done that. So look at that. 
Although I would love to get Mercurius. Mercurius would be an amazing, amazing item for us. Untainted Forgotten. You can just fly through every single room. There we go. I gotta say, Mucor Mycosis, you know, it's always a solid tier effect, but it's it's been producing quite a lot of kills in this run. Uh, where did my cancer trinket go? Why do I have the remote? Hey, so you saw the negative range right there of that mushroom. It was too, it was actually too close to us, and we couldn't hit it. And um, that is something you have to be very cautious of. Where did our cancer trinket? Did we pick that up on the last floor? I thought that was on this floor. I might be losing my mind. I definitely don't want the remote control. I don't think we can use... You can't use a potato peeler without any red hearts. Yeah. It was a waste of 15 cents, but now we know. Uh, we get Samson's chain, and I'm not going to waste a key and a bomb for that. Um... We also put some money into the donation machine on the next run. I mean, we are going to use our key. It's just a matter of, like, when. I'm really, really hoping that we get a movement speed upgrade. Like, I mean, damage is great and all, but, like, movement speed is what your boy truly wants right now. It would have been nice to get double orbital, for sure. You get a tears up here and shot speed, which does not matter at all for the Forgotten. Bombs keep paying out in dividends here. And Whore Babylon, I mean, it's movement speed. I'll definitely take it. A little bit of damage, too, and I'll take that as well. Been having a lot of fun playing uh, Project Zomboid on Pedwin server from Pedwin from the Yogg's cast. Um... And I am planning on documenting some interesting things we got coming up on the gaming channel. So if you're not subscribed to Sinvicta Gaming already, check out the links in the description. What? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let you do this game. Not twice. I got the links in the description for the Sinvicta Gaming channel. I'm gonna be posting some Zomboid content there. Zomboid's been a lot of fun. Like, it's a game that I had maybe five hours of experience in before starting playing for, like, this entire week and a half. And it's been a lot of fun, like, kind of learning. Now, I will I will say, in a very in a very much not Sinvicta fashion, um, it's a heavily modded server that we play on. Heavily modded. Like, I'm talking... When I say heavily, I mean over 200 mods. And that is not an exaggeration. So you can tell that like I, I had absolutely nothing to do with with setting up this server, because um, obviously I don't like playing with mods. But if we end up doing a mosh pit server for the Discord, um, we will have a little bit of mods, not too, nothing too crazy. Um, but I do think that it's a game that needs some mods to make it a little bit better, because um, I have played vanilla Zomboid and I liked I liked it. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It was just kind of like. You know, it was like an overly obtuse experience in the nicest way possible. I think Eve Online's UI, but like less intuitive than that. And Eve's UI is just, just horrible. The Robo Baby. Spider Baby. And Unicorn Stump, which we are not going to take. For hopefully obvious reasons, but hey, we have Spider Mod now. I think I accidentally called him Spider Baby. Spider Mod, baby, um, is going to show us the HP of stuff. And also, this is a little lesser known uh, fact about Spider Mod. Spider Mod also deals damage and can do various uh, kind of effects by just way of contact damage, like by poisoning something or like setting them on fire. Like it actually does a decent amount of damage. Don't 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 poo poo spider mod. Spider, spider mod can can help you. 
get a bone heart here, but unfortunately it's not going to do anything. So, I mean, I guess technically you can get bone hearts to, to, to double back on what I said or a little bit earlier. You can get bone hearts. It's just that they're not all that effective because you can't fill them. So if you want to consider bone hearts to be the same as soul hearts in this scenario, then sure. Then I will, I will yield to that idea. Weird there was no bomb that came out of that first one. Definitely would love to get PH Dizzle here because of the simple fact of us having mom's coin purse. <coughs> we get Fat on Mushroom, which is going to give us a movement speed down, which undoes our movement speed up, and then we get another movement speed up, this time a stronger one from Stopwatch. We have deep pockets, so we might as well go, we might as well take the member card. And uh, boy, howdy, is it worth it? Keeper sack, oh baby. They talk about being worth it. EH Dizzle showing up out of nowhere. We get pretty fly. Pretty fly. I know Matthias had fun recording that one. I'm definitely proud to call Matthias friend. Infested. But Matthias and John, two awesome people. Makers of the Isaac soundtrack. Planet at Ridiculon. The quarter. It's going to give us more buying power for uh, Keeper Sack as well. If you haven't seen the video already of me of me interviewing Isaac's dad, which is a little bit of a parody, then definitely check it out on the on the uh, channel here as well. If, if you've not seen it, because it's definitely worth it. I'm gonna take Guppy's paw here, not to use it. Not to use it, obviously, but just to, for the guppy transformation. It's funny how usually if you throw the Forgotten's body directly on a, um, a fire, it extinguishes it, but sometimes it doesn't happen. I think it was a mistake not to get Voodoo. Um, Voodoo Head would have been very good, especially given like you know the fact that we can get into curse rooms for free. We can't just drink it again. Not the golden one this time, but hey. Wow. Okay. We get a little horn here. I have no idea what happened in this room. I have to be extremely cautious right now. I'm temp I'm very tempted to hit the R key now. Um, we're so close to boss rush. Really don't want to waste the boss rush. What is going on there? Well, I guess I guess that was Mucor mycosis with anti grav. I suppose. And you're seeing the again a little bit of the downside of Tain and Forgotten play out here, which is that you you're almost forced to go into dangerous situations um, with him because you've got to go retrieve the body. Okay, Cricket's body, which is going to be another massive tears up. Um, what does Claudie do with Tain and Forgotten? You get it, you get your own Claudie. I mean, we could we can hold on to the the one Claudi. <clears throat> I guess we just go with Hive Mind here. 
Marrow obviously is just a 30 cent soul heart, and I think that's a huge waste of money. Um, we can buy the notched axe just for the stats from Keeper Sack. But we're going to have to be real, 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 real careful here against Mom. I think it's anyone. It's only 2 HP and no Polaroid. Even if we had the Polaroid, it wouldn't really matter. Obviously, we can't take a deal with the devil here. Uh, we can go check for a fortune telling machine. Oh. We've got mom's key, so we have almost unlimited chests here to get. As long as we get some money, we can actually feed this into the other judgment. We just got Guppy, so Guppy's tail, mom's key. Uh, Guppy with the forgotten and tainted forgotten is obviously uh, even less effective than than Guppy is because obviously we don't have any tears. But but um, we still do produce flies when we hit things. Black Bean, again, is kind of just whatever. We have to take damage to gain anything from it. But we have Guppy Hive Mind now, uh, which is going to be a lot of damage. Actually, I th we might be gaining tears. Or we might be gaining Guppy Flies from dealing damage with anti-grav. Like with the with the Crescents being just mid-air like that. Oh my good gravy. Okay, so we've, <coughs> we've got some damage. Damage is looking pretty solid. It's so strong, we're shaking the world with our swings. And we just two-shot um, Carrion Queen. Um, Fallen didn't even get a chance to split. That's a that's that's a new one. Yeah, I think this. I think the curves. The little crescent swings, because they're just suspended in, in midair like that, they're actually giving us unlimited amount of guppy flies as procs. Which is kind of insane when you think about it. And one of the beauties about being guppy and Tainted Forgotten is that we can throw, we can literally throw all of our guppy flies into the enemy. <laughs> Because we're, they surround the they surround the forgotten. They don't surround the soul. Wow, that was a dominating performance there. And yeah, might as well take Halo Flies. It is going to give us Beelzebub. <coughs> Apologize about the coughing. <coughs> Sucks, man. I am I am seeing a doctor uh, this week. Hopefully, I can get into the ear, ear, nose, and throat doctor. Been doing a lot of talking because of the of the zomboid streams. Um, and again, it's been worth it. But like, you know, I wish I, I would I would pay good money to get rid of this cough. Trust me. Trust me. It is it, it is affecting many things in my life. I'm trying to I'm I'm trying to keep it under wraps and you know and control it but you know I mean hey you try controlling it you know when you try controlling the next time you get sick or the next time you have a cough try just like not coughing or oh, just not cough you know, it's not not that easy just don't cough forehead Lord, that is so much damage. Polyphemus on top of everything else. We still have our Claudia. I didn't. I didn't even realize that. 
Um, there's like, okay. There's like 13 different uh, daddy long legs there and we just lost our Claudi. 80% chance, by the way, of Devil Deal we we failed. That's neat. But hey, we got that shot speed up. No. No. Thank you. Shot speed up. All right. Let's go check out the curse room here. For some reason, the forgotten or the soul wasn't holding on to the forgotten at the beginning of this level. Yeah, let's go ahead and not. We'll say it is a little bit difficult to see where you're throwing. Yes, I realize now that our Claudi came back because we we have the we actually took the trinket. Oh, what? You can have this room. With all these guppy flies, we can just kind of hold the uh, forgotten above our head. <laughs> And just let the guppy flies just kind of take care of everything like that right there. Because we have Polyphemus, they're going to be doing just a stupid amount of damage. And then whenever we need more guppy flies, we simply just throw the... We just eat the, eat the body in the direction of the enemy, and then that's it. This is a really, really powerful combo we've got going on here. This anti-grav bit. Pretty fly. <coughs> Tears up. Of course, there's another tiers up here, which is going to be capped by uh, Polyphemus. Wheezy. <laughs> <laughs> The most important thing about Squeezy right here is the two soul hearts we get, because we definitely need it, especially if we're going to go fight old Hushy. <laughs> Mom's heart... Mom's heart just instantly died. Like, we didn't have to do anything. Um, death's list I'm going to take. Berserk would be kind of hilarious as Tainted Forgotten, but I am going to go fight old Hushy. And just to show you how good it is to use the Tainted Forgotten as, a, as an orbital blocker uh, for uh, big ranged attack-based enemies... Lots of money. We got Cardio Coin. I'm not going to play this game, Cardio Coin. Last, this is Rags, just in case. And Pisces, which is going to break our tears cap even more. By a little bit, not by a lot. No reroll machines, unfortunately. You'll gain a nice damage upgrade there. Another nice one there from uh, Keeper Sack. <laughs> get a range up. Yeah, I'm just buying all this stuff just because we have Keeper Sack. Just to give us a little bit of extra stats. Any damage up that we get from here on out is just going to be massive. Not only because we're Guppy, but because of the fact that we have Polyphemus. Yeah, Blue Baby's already dead. So we essentially just let the Forgotten be the blocker for us here. Look how look how much damage is being dealt now. Now that Hushy is in melee range, in contact contact damage range. I know it looked like the soul was swinging the bone there, but that was actually the Claudi that was, like, kind of attached to us. <coughs> yeah. Down goes old Hushy.
Glad he's back. Back, back, back again. The guppy flies just, they just execute everything. In range, it's just, they, it just dies. Everything just dies. Oh, it's just not going to be this way. Yeah. Ooh. Orphan Sox gives us a movement speed upgrade as well as uh, two soul hearts. And we did take Death's List, but obviously I'm... It's going to be... It's going to be a little bit difficult to get Death's List done unless we're in like a single target situation um, with all the guppy flies and like all the AoE that we can do. Yeah, I told you it's not going to be this way. Did I not say it? Did I not say it? I told you. Even with the compass, we go the wrong way. Oh, you're still alive. I would have loved to have seen what this run would look like if we didn't play the Tainted Forgotten. Health up. I mean, technically, that is a soul heart, so we'll take that. <clears throat> wow, we are getting just tons of HP here. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with all this. Yeah. As soon as the <laughs> As soon as the guppy flies catch up to the target. Excuse me. As soon as the guppy flies catch up to the target and just plow all their damage into it, it's just GG. And none of these are even worth opening using our key for, so. It's not gonna be this way. I can already I can already tell it's gonna be south. Based on things that I know about Isaac Isaac mapping. In order for us to go southeast, we must go south. And possibly northwest. Oh man, sharp straw. Sharp straw would be pretty amazing here, but you know what we're going to do with this R key. We did not get a delirium portal, so uh... We could look for. We know that we're not going to get a get get a jail get out of jail free card, uh, because we have mom's uh, coin purse. So we're not going to get any a cards. We did get Taurus, which is actually pretty good for Tainted Forgotten. Virgo. We got a damage upgrade there from uh, this list. Unfortunately, I can't swing while Taurus is active. I mean, the force that we're swinging with is just, it's just totally overwhelming. Uh, the tears of pill doesn't matter, obviously, because we are, we are capped. We'll take uh, rotten tomato. What I'm doing right now, by the way, if you, in case you're like, well, how come you're not using the R key? Uh, I'm looking for dad's key so we can get into the Mega Stand fight. But it didn't happen. All right. All right. It's going to be the same scene. Fox Rock, Quebec, X-Ray, November, Romeo, Quebec, Romeo, Tango. And uh, Book of Shadows is really, really good. 
So we can get the golden key here. Which is, this doesn't really matter either unless we get like another R key. We didn't teleport. Although, I honestly, I'm half tempted to turn into Lazarus. I'm not going to lie. Like, we've already proven what we can do with, as Tainted Forgotten, right? I'm kind of tempted to turn into Lazarus here. Because I want to see what these tiers look like if we weren't the Tainted Forgotten. There we go. Got the key piece. I think I'm gonna do it. Oh yeah, we have anti-grav. <laughs> well, we're now tainted Lazarus, but, but tainted Lazarus uh, does have the ability to die on the next floor and resurrect with more damage. So we're not tainted forgotten anymore, obviously. Um, but I think that we kind of, we, we kind of ran the course in terms of like what I wanted to do for this episode, right? Now we're just, now we're just goofing off. And yeah, we proved that Tainted Forgotten is super strong. Obviously this build was a, a, just a tad bit stronger than the last run that we had on last week. Anti-grav, well, the music didn't even change. We killed Pin so fast. Um... Anti-grav with, with Polyphemus is just so much damage. Anything with Polyphemus is obviously going to be damaged. Now, what we what we really, really want... Wow, that's a lot of luck. What we really want would be a... Uh, you know, like a, a tier... Not a tiers up, but a... Um, like Spectral Tears or even Tech 1 would be amazing. Now remember, we're on we're on run number one here, so we have full access to the donation machine. Um, angel deal precedents are a thing. I think honestly, because we have Guppy, we can go for angel deals here. The range up, which is totally fine now, because obviously we're not the tainted forgotten anymore. And notice how we have a plus one life. That is Lazarus's rags, and this was the thing that we had that sort of mystified me the other day. Uh, which I was like, how did we get Lazarus's rags back? That must be a bug. No, it's actually an update that they did a while ago. Get starter deck here and the hero funk card, which is gonna give us a whole bunch of HP. So technically speaking, if you wanted to get a permanent damage buff, you could, in theory, um, die on every single floor as Lazarus and then come back with Lazarus's rags on the next floor. Um, oh, apparently it won't. It apparently won't give us that on them, even on an R key run. Hmm. Okay, Duke just died immediately. Uh, I'm going to skip Devil Deals. I'm, I'm going to go Angel Deals here. But, uh, yeah, so you, what you can do in order to maximize La Lazarus's permanent damage buff is basically just die over and over again on every floor, then resurrect on the next floor, die again, you get turned into Resurrected Lazarus or Lazarus the second, and uh, then gain all those all those juicy stat ups that you get from that bird's eye here. Okay. Is it me or did we put, didn't we put 351 in? It's going back to 350 for some reason. Might be losing my mind here. It's been a long video. It's been, we're already on an hour and five minutes, and we are keyed. What's going on here? We talk about Wacky Wednesday. This is not the this is not the Wacky Wednesday I was thinking we were gonna get. <coughs> but I'm all for it. Our money is gonna give us more stats here from uh, Keeper Sack. Get health up. Now I also could have swore that we took starter deck game, so. I think the I think the R key is is throwing a little corn fuzzle into the mix. I don't even know what a corn fuzzle is, but 
kind of sounds delicious and also a little bit hairy. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, we'll take Soul Locket all day, every day, bro. There's actually no reason for us to fight the Angel Statues. So we have the Filigree Feather, which we don't. I'm going to take damage here so we can pick up the Soul Heart and gain a little bit of extra uh, stat ups. Of course, we have to wait for the Virgo Shield to go away. And it gave us a 0 .04 shot speed upgrade. Look at that. You look at that. What would we do without that 0 .04 shot speed? We almost got Death's List out of that, which would have been absolutely incredible. Another Eternal Heart. Okay, yeah, it's still stuck at 350. I, I, I know I saw it go to 351. Tons of Bombas everywhere. Luchas Bombas. I can see I should have used that right off the start. Not that I think that one bomb is going to make a difference. We'll take a Tarot Cloth, which is going to give us even more damage. We have a Stars card, which I'm going to use right now. Yeah, overall, Tainted Forgotten. I don't. Th I think that he's fun to play. Um, very, very, very powerful right off the gate, right out of the box. I mean, um, you know, he's he's like he's one of those, just one of those items that you know. Oh man, Gigante Bean. One of those items that one of those characters that you know that you're gonna be able to have a lot of fun with and stays relatively safe. Obviously, I was getting a little bit against it on that last floor um, before we turned into Lazarus. <clears throat> Hot speed up. Sure. Shot speed. Health up. We have so much HP. Yeah, this is this is a dominating amount of damage here. That was that was that was black bean plus gigante bean. <laughs> Oh, what a fun run. He was saved. I think it tears up. Yeah. But even though we've been capped and we have Polyphemus forever, um, we still have a 4.20 uh, tears rate. Now, Diplopia, if we do happen to come across an R key, then all we have all we have to do by then is just simply get rid of uh, or get past the the Mega Stand block, and then we've got an Omega Run pretty much wrapped up. I know that there was a Soul Heart in there somewhere. Not the Eternal Heart. I know there was a Soul Heart in there somewhere. <clears throat> That's Bub. Dry right, baby. Apparently this is not the right way to go. Bet wrong on that bet. Let's go ahead and bomb the uh, charge beggar here just to increase our angel deal chance by a whole lot. Now our fire rate is so high with anti-grab, I can actually just tap fire. It's kind of firing off like um, uh, chocolate milk. <coughs> My goodness. The regular HP upgrade. Did not get the angel deal. And here's the hoping that we find an R key. Somehow, some way, find it in the secret room. I mean, we've already re-rolled our character, like literally re-rolled our character. We would still stay as Lazarus, but we'd get a whole lot of extra stuff. Hmm. 
It is tempting to hit the D1 Hizzle here. Just because, I mean, we're <laughs> we're just I mean, we're just clowning the game now. I'm gonna pick up Sty just because uh it will give us another permanent stat up. Even if we D one hundred, um it can't take away those stats, it's just gonna shuffle them around with a D eight. We've taken so many items on this run too. I'm curious what the D one hundred would do. We don't want to use it inside of the inside of the item room because we don't want to re-roll uh, Diplopia. Let's do it. Uh, okay, we have a, we still have a lot of damage thanks to Keeper Sack. We maintain Keeper Sack. We have Godhead now. Um, lead pencil, speed ball. We're still Guppy. We have Leviathan. We have the school bag, actually. I think we might actually be more powerful now than we were, although we didn't get boss rush because uh, it's been over 30 minutes. In fact, we can't even go fight Hush again. We would have to do a victory lap in order to fight uh, old Hushy. Also ran into the rolled into the treasure map, so that's good. I am happy that I don't have to uh tap fire anymore. And we can still re-roll with a D100. I mean I'm kinda happy with this build here with Godhead piercing shots. That's really, really strong. Should go look for an R key. Although we do have explosive O. Oh no. Yeah, we have the spirit sword. Um Spirit Sword, Mucor Mycosis. Hmm. Not sure if that worked out in our favor here. Well, that is pretty sick, that little blade storm thing we've got going on. We still maintain Godhead somehow. Don't ask me how. Did get named Dio. Now, Genesis is another possibility here. Got the halo. We did get the school bag back, so we can still maintain. Um, we got nine lives too. We can maintain Diplopia here. I think we'll wait to go on to the next floor. <clears throat> got lost old buddy, which just gave us Godhead anyway. Uh, we already no no we don't have Godhead. Yeah, that's another angelic item. Look at lost old buddy. Check him out now. Also, buddy, BFF, that's the reason why he's got a holy mantle. Man, this is... this Now, with 70 damage, like, this build is just sick, nasty, crazy. Who would have thought a Tainted Forgotten run would have turned into this? Hey, hey look, I'm down for it. Wow. Got a devil deal for some reason. Back altar and whore Babylon. Maw the void. Leviathan. Oh my. Oh boy. That is Cricket's body. My reflection tractor beam. And joined Hex Zero. And we still have Diplopia. Thanks to the school bag. So Yeah, this is gonna be a beam of damage that we're we're dealing here.
think we also have the broken stopwatch. Yeah. The number two, it looks like, as well. I'm not going to try to lay a bomb. There's no point. <laughs> it's going to be instant death. Yep. Hopefully the game doesn't crash. There's the delirium portal, but we don't have our... We have no R key, so it doesn't matter. <clears throat> I was in the dark room. Uh, yeah, we'll take sulfur, uh, pick up his head, use his freaking shadow, and then abba dabba ding dong. Then we're going to re-roll. Um, let's see section. Is that tech two or tech one? Sacred Heart? Oh my goodness. This is this is just madness here. <clears throat> yeah, this is the C section tech zero and tiny planet. Yeah. Oh, okay. Apparently we have options. Also, we lost our D1 Hizzle. No, 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 no. We we we've gone down the rabbit hole this uh, this far. We we're gonna we're we're going full, we're going full hole now. Our damage Seraphim is another angelic item. Our damage is just insane. Lost soul, buddy. Check him out now. What on earth is this? I hate this. Um. Is that Libra? Dr. Fetus? Oh my good lord. Yeah, this is... This is death waiting to happen. Yep. Oh my god. They're like they're sucking eyes again. I can't do anything. Okay. Ooh. That will take uh Sigil Baphomet. Somehow maintain knockout drops. So we have almond milk now and fruit cake. And quad shot too. This is our tears rate with quad shot, by the way. That's uh that's remarkable. Yeah, we're gonna do victory lap. It's only an hour and eighteen minutes in this video. I did hear something I don't like to hear though. And I think that we have missing no. Second seed, six Papa Foxtrot Papa, Romeo Hotel, uh, Delta Bravo, and we do have missing no. Okay. Furnace, which is some, some badness. Okay. Um, I don't, we have Ludovico, Black Candida again. Hey, okay, friend finders for Sissy. How you doing little Sissy? Also, where did my D100 go? I think we rolled into the, in, did we roll into missing no again? <coughs> um, I guess friend finder because at this point it's just going to be an absolute 
gonna be an absolute um, Sierra show. <clears throat> if you catch my drift, we got Sissy. That's a huge Ludovico ring. Yeah, at this point, I don't even know what's gonna happen, folks. So just, just hang on, just hold on tight, just ha hang on your butts, because uh, we got missing no empty heart. Oh, get ready to get ready to listen to this for an entire floor. A D Bizzle. Honestly, it's probably in our best interest is to go to the lamb. Just end this run at this point. You have brimstone. Like we have we we have everything that we well, when we say we have everything, I mean, we have pretty much everything in the game right now. Except the blanket and the nine volt. Take that. We still have, uh, we still have Keeper Sack. Oh my gosh. Is that Birthright? Resurrecting as Lazarus Risen grants 7.2 damage. Damage up wears off over one minute. Killing enemies looks... It's kind of lame. I, I don't even see the damage bonus. Book of Virtues again. Um. <clears throat> yeah, I think I'm just going to end this run. Okay, thank you, Taurus. We don't have the... We don't have the Polaroid anymore? You have Curse the Tower. Bring a protection, which is going to give us even more angel items to roll through. Sorry, Gabriel. Or Uriel, I should say. There's Gabriel. There we go. Yeah. I think that's just smarter here with us having missing no. Um. Yep, yeah, those are all all not great. No idea what our tears looks like, but I see that we have Sacred Heart and Brimstone. This might be fun. need to put an epilepsy warning on this one that was so much damage good lord we have rock bottom and apparently we wouldn't have gotten the omega run anyway so oh, what a run what a marathon of a run thank you for watching everyone uh didn't expect the tainted forgotten run to turn into that but here we are so if you enjoyed this episode make sure you click the like button leave a comment down below don't forget about this weekend's live stream going to be happening for the live rebirth reaction video and then we'll be hanging out playing some isaac afterwards thank you for liking commenting subscribing everyone today's question of the episode now that you've seen both of them has your has your opinion changed are you team tainted forgotten or are you still on team forgotten post them in the comments down below top three will be read on next week's episode and have a great wednesday and until next time good night or good morning or good evening wherever you are everybody we'll see you next time Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank the patrons of mine like Alde Ode, Lutz Callan Cansony, and Michael McMaster. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find at patreon.com slash Invicta.